Hello guys, welcome back. This is uh, Game of Thrones, Tell Tell. Uh, this is episode 5, part 4. Uh, hope you enjoy. Please subscribe and like, and here we go. Then you're not above using people to get what you want. Good. Why would you be so reckless as to risk your neck for what? It all seems rather careless, considering the consequences. My family is still very much at risk, Your Grace. It was crucial I attend. Your family. Sometimes that's a convenient lie we tell ourselves. When I suspect your issue with Lord Andros played a part in it. You've been such a busy little handmaiden. I assume Lady Marjorie knew nothing of this. No, Your Grace. This wasn't the first time you've hidden the truth from her. You've no qualms about lying to her, have you? Tell me the truth. Your secret is safe with me. I have before, Your Grace. And I would again. You are resourceful, aren't you? Perhaps I mistook your northern stubbornness for ignorance, but now I see there's more to you. You're a cunning girl, and perhaps you can help me. Your Grace? quite friendly with my brother Tyrion. I need you to speak with him before the trial begins. I want to know who he intends to call as a witness on his behalf. Consider it a favour to the Crown, for which we will all be grateful. Uh, I, I guess I could, Your Grace. It won't be easy. Tyrion is devious. You'll have to hide your intentions, otherwise he'll tell you nothing. You may prove to be a useful little bird to me, assuming you do as you're told. In return, I'll take care of your problem with Lord Andros. Thank you, Your Grace. I never liked the man anyway, and I doubt anyone will miss him. Think we hired this boat for nothing? No, I don't know. That was a rousing speech you gave, little brother. But who knows how much they heard. Ever since you left me to that dragon, I've given a lot of thought to staying here, leaving you to your Westeros and your foresters. You have? <sighs> I was angry, but you're my family. No matter what, I'd follow you anywhere, little brother. Just try not to get us killed. Think we'd let you live without us, Westerosi? They say your homeland is fat and prosperous. An orchard ripe for plucking. We'll take what we want and kill anyone who stands in our way. Take anything not nailed down. Just not from my house. <laughs> that depends on how nice your house is. I'll show them their beds. Vesco wasn't exaggerating. Malcolm, you're here! And you found your soldiers. Anrath will be glad of your return. You came through for them. Just as I knew you would. What should I tell Roderick? Tell him what I do. I do for our house. Daenerys will eventually return to Westeros. If I can, I'd like to help her reclaim the Iron Throne. Imagine what an ally she'd be to House Forrester if she succeeds. Living here has made a better man of you, nephew. Perhaps the same will be true for me. Thank you, Uncle. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you. You've guided me well. You are your father's son, Asher. For all your differences, he would be proud. I'll send a raven ahead to Ironrath to let Roderick know you sail for Westeros with the uh, cell swords. 
My thoughts will be with you in the fight to come. Asher. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Casting off! Shame though, because all my army dies. Take this. It'll help loosen his tongue. But be careful. He's a tricky little bastard. If he figures out who sent him, he'll tell you nothing. I'll be listening to every word you say. Oh, I ask for brawn. They send me a handmaiden. Well, you're here. You might as well come in. Let me get you. Your family is in grave danger, and you've come seeking my help? Not that I'd be of much use to you. As you can see, I'm at a bit of a disadvantage. I thought we were friends, Lord Tyrion. I thought so as well. Yet, here you are. You brought wine. How thoughtful of you. And you didn't even have to hide it. Hmm. Doesn't smell poisoned. Poisoned? Cersei would love nothing more than to save herself the trouble of a trial. You don't expect me to drink alone, do you? They never let anyone in to see me. I suppose I'll have just a little. Ah, true girl of the North. Hmm. Some things are worth dying for. So, why are you here? It's rather unusual for a handmaiden to visit the Black Cells. I've been worried about you, Lord Tyrion. Oh, have you? You may be the only person in all of King's Landing who doesn't want to see my head on a spike. You and Podrick. I have to admit, I've always admired your honesty, but I suspect there's more to you than one might imagine. This is all a ruse, isn't it? Sorry? You're coming here. We both know you have an ulterior motive. You've come to set me free. It's the perfect plan. No one would suspect it of you. <laughs> you found me out. How did you know? You can learn a great deal about someone if you're paying attention. So, tell me, Cersei sent you, didn't she? I know I'm not wrong. The truth, Mira. She left me no choice. She never does. At least you had the courage to tell me the truth. I told you not to run your mouth. Stupid girl. You're acting a fool. Back off, Lucan. Watch your tongue, girl. We're not done talking, you imbecile. Give us a moment. Imp. What did my sister expect you would learn? Who will testify on your behalf? She's using you. And will continue to do so. Until you no longer prove useful. It's not as if I could refuse her. Cersei is not someone to be trifled with. And what would Lady Marjorie make of your new friendship with my sister? I doubt she'd be pleased. Assuming she doesn't dismiss you immediately. Lady Marjorie doesn't know. And I intend to keep it that way. You're fooling yourself if you think it's your secret to keep. And without her protection, you're in a very precarious position. <clears throat> What should I tell Cersei? 
She knows the answer better than anyone. No one will testify for me. She's already seen to that. That is the truth of it. Not that it will help you. I appreciate your honesty, Lord Tyrion. And I yours, Lady Mira. Although I doubt my sister will. Enough of this nonsense. You're wasting my time. Out, now. I wish you well, Lady Mira. Be careful who you trust. Must you leave? Sorry. Didn't mean to wake you. You didn't sleep, did you? Neither did you. We haven't slept much at all these last few weeks. I... I hope you don't have any regrets. About this. About us. My only regret. No, I didn't want to say that. Bummer. Bummer. what happened to your brother if i'd only please let's not talk about arthur not now what will we do now now that we're we'll be married and no one will be able to keep us apart not griff not his father not ramsay snow i was hoping you'd say that Roderick? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were alone. Good morning, Talia. Hello, Elena. Oh, I, I didn't realise you two were... I... Talia, can't you knock? Sorry, I should have... It's just, this is urgent, Roderick. And... It's, it's all right. I can go. You two need to speak. I'll see you soon, I hope. All right then, I'm listening. Last night I couldn't, I was having nightmares, so I... Go on, Talia. I went back there to the grove and someone was there what do you mean look this is a report how many fighting men we have where griff and the white hill garrison are being held it even talks about elena i know it's everything I couldn't believe it. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... You said you saw someone. Who? Someone we trusted. Talia, I need to know who it was. He's like family, Roderick. But it doesn't matter. He's a traitor. He endangered our house. You have to deal with him like you would any other man. I'm sure he had his reasons. But no reason is good enough. Dahlia, I'll do the right thing. You know me. I do know you. That's why I need you to promise. Promise me you'll kill him, Roderick. Anyone who would betray us like this deserves to die. I'm asking you as your sister. I give you my word, Talia. The traitor will get what he deserves. Now, tell me. Come with me. He's in the Great Hall. I've got a feeling it's so Island. Even though I did do all of the bad stuff, so I'm not sure whether it's going to change into Duncan. Doubt it.
Go get the guns. And yep, it is so Ireland. Knew it. Yeah, told you. Hey, oh, my lord, you scared the bloody daylights out of What's that? You tell me. You don't scare me, Roderick. I've known you since you were a boy. Back when you still had a spine. You sold your loyalty like some whore in the street. My loyalty has always been to this house. But you've been too damn blind to see it. Now what I didn't see is that you were a traitor. You pushed me to this, Roderick. You brought it upon yourself. You're blaming me for what you did. I'm telling you what you need to hear. I rose through the ranks because I knew when to ignore orders from men unfit to give them. Look at you, Roderick. You're weak. You're weak, just like Ethan was. Making Duncan his sentinel. Ethan was a boy. Ethan was a fool. And you've been making fool choices too since the day you crawled off that corpse cart. You've had every opportunity to save this family, but you've squandered them all. Your father would be ashamed. Hate me for it, but it's the bloody truth. For all your counsel, all your talk, you're nothing but a fucking craven. Says the man who survived the Red Wedding by playing dead. The only thing that matters is that you swore an oath, Bob. I swore to your father. I'd swear to Asher if he were here. But you're a cripple who can barely hold a sword. Asher knows how to act. All you do is live between defeats. Asher would cut your traitor heart out. Oh, I don't doubt it. He has more balls than you ever will. Roderick, it's Griff. He's gone. Somebody set him free. Was this your doing? They were going to ambush you at the trade. I just saved your life. But Ryan... Ryan... How could you? This was his doing. Just sentence me and be done with it. Roderick, you promised. Kill me. And Asher dies too. <gasps> Please, Roderick. What do you mean? I know Lud's plans. Spare my life. And I'll tell you everything. Perhaps we should hear him out. <laughs> the right thing. What Roiland said. We have to warn Asher. We can't, not if he's at sea. My lord, what do we do? Prepare the horses. We're going to war. Okay then guys, I'm going to end it there and I'll see you in my next vid.